Friday guys, another Friday tip and today we're building on um, the tip I gave out a couple weeks ago about what is a good shot. A good shot doesn't necessarily mean we have to get right next to the hole, it could be somewhere near the green according to our handicap. The next stage and the next sort of part is how we go about actually scoring well. So I've got three different balls placed around the greens which I'll, I'll show each shot but you're going to start to change your club selection, don't always have one club and expect the I guess same results but also have a little bit of a variety in what you're doing so the, the furthest I guess the, the tip I would say here is the further away you want something that's going to run a little bit lower and it's going to run to the flag this is going to make it much easier in terms of actually consistency because the swing from the club you're using is very small in its output if I was to use a lob wedge from here we start to have a swing that's sort of halfway back and through and there's a lot that can go wrong, which we probably have all experienced. Got a little eight iron, could go seven iron, whatever you're most comfortable with, but the, the goal is, you just wanna play something where it can bump onto the edge of the green, it's landing on the green, and it's gonna run the whole way there. So the key is, nice little stance, weight forward, and it's just a nice little swing, ball lands on the green, and then it runs forward. Okay, our second location just in front of the green and I've gone to my pitching wedge why I've swapped clubs is I still every time we, when we chip we want to try land the ball on the green it's the most even racking surface and we don't take well that way we're taking out any luck or good fortune of getting good bounce sometimes you could hit a, you know, a pitch mark a soft spot just before the green kills the bounce where you could get you know you could hit something and really scoots the ball along so Take any of luck, take out all that luck and chance, and we're going to try land it on the green. Reason I've taken from eight iron now, I've gone to pitching wedge is the chances of actually stopping the ball near the hole with the eight iron when I'm landing on the green have now reduced. So I'm still going to have that same setup, small stance, leaning forward into my left foot. And it's, going to, it's still a small swing, but our goal is if I can land it on the green, and it's going to react for me. Easy. Now we've just finished off this right hand side but we have very little green to work with so our best option is now to go to a flat stick or a putter. Um, the reason for that is we really don't have any landing spot between ourselves and the flag so when I differ between those two clubs of four, eight iron and pitching wedge, it all was to do with the distance between the green or the start of the green and the flag. That's what's going to differ up when you play your shot. So first thing to take your notes, just going to be that fraction slower first half of the putt but then it's still going to be the same speed as when you get onto the green so it takes a little bit to get used to but the first thing you really want to rely on is a good strike on on the ball so if I walk up to the green you can see the three balls slightly different positions but they're all very makeable um, in terms of a putt so just recapping you're going to choose different clubs depending where you are or where you are to the flag so first notice how much run runoff room you have between the green and the flag always take note wanting to land the ball on the green which will give you the most success in terms of how the ball is going to react so try that a couple times and implement it into your rounds 